Welcome to Art Explained, the home of art, art history, stories, and art education for all who are interested. Jean-Jacques Henner was born on March 5, 1829, in Bernwiller, which is located in the south of Alsace, France. His parents were farmers. When Alsace was annexed by Germany in 1871, he chose French nationality but retained strong ties with the region of his birth, returning to it once a year. His early paintings are mainly portraits or genre scenes such as the artist's mother praying before the body of her daughter, Madeleine. Henner's artistic gift was first noticed at school by his drawing teacher. He then became a pupil of Gabriel Garin in Strasbourg. Thanks to a grant from the Council of the Autorin Department, he was able to continue his studies in the studios of Drawling and Picot at the École des Beaux-Arts in Paris. There, Henner received a traditional training. He also visited museums regularly. He was particularly influenced by Italian Renaissance painters such as Titian, Raphael, and Correggio. He admired Holbein, and in particular, Holbein's The Body of the Dead Christ in the Tomb, which was exhibited at the Basel Museum. He also admired French painters from the first half of the 19th century, such as Ingres, Brudon, and Corot. On his return from Rome, Henner concentrated first on naturalism. Both Manet and Degas greatly influenced his work. Henner exhibited La Toilette in 1868, which he later destroyed because of bad reviews. Henner gradually abandoned this naturalistic style and began painting subjects inspired by an undated idealistic period in antiquity rather than the contemporary world. Thus, the titles of his paintings, evoking pastoral poetry of classical literature, Idyll in a Cloga, exhibited in 1872 and 1879, or Mythology as Bibli and Naiad. From the 1870s onwards, he became a successful artist and a popular portrait painter. In 1889, Henner was elected a member of the Institut de France, and in 1903, he was awarded the highest rank in the Order of the Legion of Honor. He regularly submitted paintings with historical or religious subjects to the salons and universal exhibitions, such as St. Sebastian, exhibited in 1888. He 
did not receive many commissions, with the exception of truth for the Sorbonne, but most of his works were purchased by the French state for the Musée de Luxembourg, a museum dedicated to living artists and for major regional museums. He was also sought after by private collectors, including Alfred Chauchard, who owned his 1883 Reader, as well as Mies Angelus. Both paintings are in the Musée d'Orsay. Henner enjoyed a successful career even if his paintings did not really match the ideal of the Academy at that time. They were criticized when compared with traditional historical paintings. Unlike his contemporary, Jean-Paul Lorraine, or the neo-Greek, Jean-Léon Jérôme, Henner had no desire to reconstruct history. He attached little importance to narrative elements such as decoration or costume. Furthermore, his paintings lack the precise form or appealing aspect in the works of William Bouguereau or Alexander Cabanel. It is not really possible to classify Henner in any artistic movement of the second half of the 19th century. However, his way of blending idealism, realism, and references to the Italian Renaissance are nevertheless close to that of his neo-Florentine sculptor friends, Paul Dubois and Alexander Falguière. At the time of his death in 1905, Henner was a famous artist whose works were widely known through engravings and photographs. L'Alsace, El Eton, or Fabiola were almost icons. This success also resulted in him being widely copied. Thank you so much for watching our video. It means the world to us. See you in the following video.